This video program may inadvertently activate your smart speaker or virtual assistant. Smarter Home Life apologizes for, but will not be held liable for any potentially catastrophic events that may occur due to the viewing of this program. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey everybody, I'm Jody Ganzik and this is a Smarter Home Life bonus video. If you haven't watched the previous video on automating your ceiling fan, I highly recommend it as the rest of this video will make a whole lot more sense. So the examples I gave in the previous video, totally valid. You can set them up, you can try them out depending on your smart home platform. Totally perfect with one caveat, with one problem. And this is where your smart home really needs to adapt to you and not the other way around. If you automate the heck out of your ceiling fan, and even if it's based on you being home and it's daylight and so forth, and you wanna turn those automations off, you gotta go dig out the app and disable them or delete them or, or something, and you'll probably forget to turn them back on and then wonder why your fan or some other routine that you may have created isn't running anymore. So this kind of winds up being a problem. And for me, it wound up being a problem as I started to do want to do more with the ceiling fan because uh, obviously you can control whether it's on at different times, whether you're home or not, and, and so forth and so on. And earlier this year, I kind of redid everything in regards to the ceiling fan and, and with some other stuff as I added more uh, voice control. I got a few more um, Google Home devices, the minis. So now I've got not only whole house voice, but I've got whole house, you know, uh, I mean whole house audio. I've got whole house voice control as well. And I really wanted to take advantage of that. And I'll have more on that stuff in upcoming videos. So now I, I happen to use also, I've talked about this before, I use a a more advanced platform for home automation called Indigo. It runs on the Mac. There are other platforms such as SmartThings. There's uh, there's Home Assistant, which is open source. There's Vera. There's other kind of legacy uh, smart home hardware controllers, and there's other software systems as well. You know, you take your pick. But they generally will let you write code, do a lot more um, work in terms of variables and flags and all this kind of gobbledygook stuff. So. What this boils down to is now I've got control, which I, I did before, voice control and app control over the fan speed being um, you know, manually controlled. But if I want to disable those automations so that my direct control will stick for longer than a few minutes because my, uh, instead of changing when the temperature changes, the fan speed, basically the controller runs every few minutes. Um, so I could just kind of override all that with a voice command turn the automations on or off. When they are turned on, they also run. So I don't have to wait for that next interval. They just run. So the moral of this story is you take all that new automation that I put together and you combine it with a few other things that I've already have set up and a couple of timers and delays and you can make some smart home magic happen as in this example. When I'm coming back home from a workout, a run, or my favorite, cycling around town, I'm probably going to be pretty warm, maybe a little bit overheated in these uh, hot Phoenix summers. And wouldn't it be great to just use a single voice command to cool down? Hey Google, I'm hot. Initiating temporary cool down. With one prompt, the ceiling fan automations are temporarily disabled, the fan speed is kicked up to high, the current temperature on the Nest thermostat is saved for later recall, and the temperature is brought down by a couple degrees. And then, 10 minutes later, number one, I'm nice and cool, and number two, all the automations kick back on, the temperature rises, and it all goes back to the way it was before I started the cool down process. Now that's what I call a helpful smart home.